I'm Marco. And I'm Alan. And we're here today to share some of my favorite Italian pronouns. <laughs> and we're here today to share some of my favorite Italian proverbs. So Italian proverbs are really close to my heart because as a kid I grew up with my nonna and my mama and my dad like teaching me all these life lessons through proverbs. Not to be confused with pronouns. But I also want to take this as an opportunity to test Alan's Italian skills. He's been studying and I want to see how well he's able to read and understand. These videos never end well. But before we start, uh, what is the definition of pronouns? According to a the... Pronoun. <laughs> Sorry. So according to the dictionary, a proverb is a short sentence that people often quote because it gives advice or tells you something about life. <laughs> Many life lessons from our grandparents were taught to us through pro proverbs. <laughs> proverbs, not pro proverbs. Proverbs. <laughs> they offer an insight into the life of a nation, the psyche of, mm -hmm. you know, the national identity, of a culture. Values, a culture, yeah. yeah. It's also a short traditional saying that expresses some obvious truth or familiar experience. Let's see an example. An old Arab proverb says, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. True. But also, a bird in the hand is worth two in the bush, which in Italian sounds extremely dirty. And this gentleman has a master's in linguistics and communication, ladies and gentlemen. With no further ado, let's see how Alan is understanding his Italian proverbs. Let's get started. Meglio un uovo oggi che una gallina domani. Uh, meglio make? No. Choose? No. Take? No. <laughs> I get the rest. An egg today. Yes. Chicken tomorrow. Yes. Like, yeah. Take the egg today. Yes. And the chicken tomorrow. Yes. An egg today is better than a chicken tomorrow. Melio. Yeah. Si, Melio. Molly e buoi de pesi to tuoi. So de pesi toi is your country or town or like town. Your yeah. town. Okay. But this applies to us actually. We're the exception to this rule. Ah, like it's better. To be in your own town? <laughs> no. So it means like uh, wives and cows from your own towns. Mm. Actually, right, in English as well. It's because most Italians need to marry fellow Italians from their town. Chi non ha testa abbia buona gambe. Who, he who doesn't have a head, mm -hmm. who doesn't have a head, uh, has a good leg. Legs. Legs. Well done. Uh, well done. So my grandma used to tell me this all the time, and I actually use this with you several times. Meaning that if you're kind of like lightheaded and like forgetful and stuff, you're gonna have to use your legs more because you forget things and you have to run to a place ah, and get them. Okay, got you. Next! Next. Le herbe del vecino è sempre la più verde. We have this in English. Yeah, okay. So, but the herbs, is that grass? Uh, yeah. Okay, so the grass nearby is better, the, it is always greener. Well, vicino is neighbor. So your ah, neighbor's grass, not, okay. your neighbor's grass is always. Not vicinity, yeah. and neighbor. Well done. Cool. L'appetito viene mangiando. Oh, you should know that. Okay. Is yeah. he mangiando? Mangiando. <laughs> or mangiando. L'appetito viene mangiando. The that sounded like I don't know tell ever such. Gianni. Gianni, where is my Gianni? The appetite is, um, oh, comes with eating? Yes. Yeah. I'll just eat and, you know, appetite will come later. Mangia, mangia. Occhio non vede, cuore non duole. The eye doesn't see. Yeah. The heart doesn't something. Feel pain. So it means that if you're cheating on someone, for example, and your lover doesn't see that, it doesn't count because you're not actually causing suffering. Okay, that, that's a very also Italian example. <laughs> when you're cheating on your spouse, what doesn't what you what you what don't know can hurt you. No, what you don't what you don't know can't hurt you. Next. Chi cammina lecca, lecca? Le chi cammina lecca, chi siede secca. Wow, that was a very Lombard accent. <laughs> so this is actually, this is from my auntie. Chaziana, she says that all the time to me. So, sitting dry, siete mm secco, -hmm. or sitting... Mm -hmm. like, those who? Those who, okay. Camino, like walk, mm -hmm. yeah. Who walk far, wet. <laughs> those who walk wet, sit No, dry. wet. Uh, lick. <laughs> lick. Those who lick their leg, lick, walk, lick their leg, those who walk licking. No, will those, sit who walk, dry. those who walk. Those who walk lick. Those who sit. Drag. Yes. 
Meaning that unless you take action and do things in life, if you don't do that, you're gonna dry. But those who actually dare to walk, they're gonna lick, lick. Literally getting opportunities. <laughs> no, that bit. does not translate. It's not sexual, I promise. It is now. Chi lascia la strada vecchia per la nuova sa quello che lascia ma non sa quello che trova. This is basically at the core of being Italian. Oof, I better get this right then. So he who leaves the old road for the new. Ooh, well done. Something about what they're seeking. Chi lascia ma non sa quello che trova. He knows what he leaves, but he doesn't know what he'll find. Yes! Oh, it's like a game show. Wow! Yeah, I'm so proud of that. Oh, yes. Um, Italians are very adverse to change, meaning that um, by going down the usual path, mm -hmm. you will always... Security. Be, yeah, yeah, security, yeah. certainty. Anyway, <laughs> moving on. <laughs> non si può avere le botte piena e la moglie ubriaca. You can't have a full barrel. A full barrel. And, and a drunken a... wife. A half drunken barrel and a half drunk wife. <laughs> the happy medium. Or just get more barrels. Yeah? Basically it means like you can't have it all. And you can't have your cake and eat. You oh. either eat your cake or you have your cake. You can't have both. Yeah, I mean, we're more into wine than cake, yeah. I suppose. A caval donato non si guarda in bocca. A donated cavil? Cavil. Cavallo? <laughs> no, a horse, but it is a horse. 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 A yeah, caval. Ah. A given, a horse given mm -hmm. is. Oh! It's exactly the same as English. Don't look a gift horse in the mouth. A gift is a gift, and you can't just, question the gift. Just, just, just take, take it. it. Take it. And take the horse it. and eat it. In Italy, you can eat the horse. So again, it probably has a different <laughs> layer of meaning. This is also very Italian. I panni sporchi si lavano in famiglia. Lavano. 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 I panni sporchi si lavano in famiglia. The breads. The breads. Panni? No. Creams? No. <laughs> That's panna. Carino. Panni sporchi. In famiglia? Okay. The dirty clothes. Oh no, I wouldn't go. Spork, mm -hmm. I know sporky is mm -hmm. Okay, the dirty clothes are washed in the family. Same in English? Yes. You don't air your dirty laundry in public. There you go. Mm -hmm. no. your dirty laundry in public. Get a tumble dryer for that stuff. So again, family very important. Very family important. very important. Family secrets very important. Don't let the neighbors know. <laughs> Chi trova un amico trova un tesoro. Mm, that's you amazing. seeks a friend, seeks a treasure. Wow, I don't know. Oh, wow. I just know a meat. I a copia. A copia. A copia. Excuse me. God makes them a couple. And then it couples them. Ah. So basically, it's, so it's both negative and, and positive. It can, okay. be, it can be either yeah. way. So when you see like a couple and they're like, oh, yeah. Of, course, of course they're together, like the two terrible people. Or vice versa, of course they're together, two wonderful people. A cuore non si comanda. You can't command your heart, you can't like tell your heart. So like so the, heart. the heart wants with the heart. So the heart will always drive you and your decisions. Ah! So the final one is all about you, Alan. Oh God. Nella botte? Oh, well, that was the barrel, wasn't it? Si. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Nella botte piccola che il vino buono... C'è! C'è! Nella botte piccola c'è il vino buono. In the small bottle... But not bottle. Is barrel. Okay, even better. In the small barrel is the good wine. Which is about, like, people of, like, short stature. Yeah. Thank you! Well, I have to say I'm impressed. Like you guessed way more of these proverbs than I thought. Again, we cover love, wine, food, wine, food, appetite, stay on the, you know, the path. A lot of things about Italian culture. Mm -hmm. Not always the best advice. Maybe you should explore maybe a little bit more. I'm actually really happy that I didn't follow specifically one of these proverbs and I got a husband and a cow from a different town. 
<laughs> I can't believe that actually rhymes in English as well. What was your favorite proverb in your language? Like, what, what are the proverbs that are there? Like, do you see any similarities? Do you see any differences? Some of these as well might have versions in English or your own language that I might have missed. So please let us know about that too. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. This is Marco and Alan. You could go back to videos from a few years ago of me trying to speak Italian, which were not quite you, so successful. You improved. <laughs> I am proud. What is that, my dear? Thank you. Next time, pronouns. Don't uh, leave me this way. Don't forget to subscribe. And as always, thanks and oh, <laughs> thanks for what? <laughs> thanks for watching. Marco Inaba. I love these glasses.